Hi, and welcome to another RPG video. Today, we'll be talking about guide planes. First, let's make the distinction between guide planes and guide plates. Guide plates are a part of the RPD framework, while guide planes are the flat areas that you prepare on a tooth. Guide planes are prepared parallel to your proposed path of draw that is set on the surveyor. You do those usually with a flat-ended tapered diamond, but also a flat, straight diamond would work. Guide planes should be confined to the occlusal two-thirds of the proximal surfaces and should not extend down to the gingival margin. The extension of the guide plane laterally should not extend to the proximal line angles. From the occlusal view, the contour or curvature of the tooth is maintained. So you see here, just like a cup, from the top it's curved, but when you look at it from the side, it is straight. On anterior teeth, guide planes cannot be made on the contact areas because any alteration of the contact area will result in an aesthetic compromise. To remedy that issue, guide planes on anterior teeth are prepared lingual to the contact that area here. After preparing guide planes, the area should be thoroughly finished and polished, almost indistinguishable from a normal tooth contour. That does not mean you can get away without prepping them though. Here's a little summary of how RPD guide planes should be made. Hope you understand guide planes a little bit better now. We'll see you next time in the next RPD video.